Hi there, gaming buddies, it's winter in Finland. Thanks to everyone who wished me well when I was sick, feeling much better now. And also thanks to Aaron and Andrew who mentioned me in their archive video, uh, actually made me realize that I have 53 subscribers now, which makes me feel all warm and fuzzy knowing that uh, some people are interested in my videos and hopefully getting something useful out of them. Uh, but let's move on to the RPG topic at hand. As the title says, when plans fail. Well, I'm going to be approaching this from both the player and game master's side. Players first. Okay, so you and your friends came up with a plan in the game and it was foiled. It failed spectacularly. Well, you might have to ask yourself, was it even a good plan? Did you just plan for success or did you take into consideration all the things that might go wrong? Uh, you know, was it imperfect? I mean, no plan is ever completely perfect, but uh, mistakes can be made in the planning stages. Um, if you think it was a good plan and it should have worked, you might have to consider that, okay, did it happen in an unfair way or not? The way we failed, was it because the GM ruined our plan or was it just an NPC action? You know, because you have to take into consideration that the world is, at least should be, consistent. Uh, you can't just alter it to your needs just because you are player characters and the heroes of the story uh, doesn't mean that you're always going to win that uh, whatever plan you're making up it's not always going to work uh, NPCs are not simple automatons they can reason, they can feel they have their own agendas you know um, and uh, I'd say that you know, don't take failure too personally. Uh, and certainly don't get discouraged, you know. It's, it's okay to uh, fail sometimes. And, but in a situation where you feel like the Game Master was the one who ruined your plan, for example, an NPC seemed to have information that they in no way could have had, you might start to question that hang on, is this Game Master just going to uh, ruin all of our plans until we hit on the right one? This is a symptom of a Game Master who has written a plot that is way too rigid and cannot be deviated from. They have one solution in mind, and until you hit on the right one, nothing is going to work. <laughs> this is a problem and a bad one. and. If you start to feel like that's the case, you have to bring it up right there during the session. Say that, okay, um, how could the NPC have known this? Uh, does my character have any inkling on what could have happened here that went wrong? Because I, as a player, really can't come up with anything. And if they can't provide you with a solid answer right then and there, you might have to ask, okay, are we just gonna go through a list of all the different possibilities here? If that's the case, then just give us the answer and let's get a move on. You know, let's get the plot moving again because this is getting ridiculous. Um, might seem harsh, but sometimes it's necessary to bring that up like, okay, if there's just one way out, just say it now, uh, so that we don't waste any more time on planning for things that are never going to, uh, you know, never going to work. Uh, of course, you have to be pretty sure that the game master is is constantly tripping you up, and not just the fact that your plans are incredibly flawed. I mean, that can happen. If your plan has 
a hole in it that the game master sees and plows right through it. Well, that's too bad. That's on you. But that should be possible in the reverse. You know, if an NPC has a plan and there's a hole in it, you should be able to exploit it as a player character. You know, but that's somewhat simple still. When plans fail for the players, uh, can be handled pretty easily still. And uh, if you go in with the right mentality that you're not always going to automatically succeed, it'll work out fine. But the more complicated issue comes with the Game Master. When the Game Master's plans fail, yeah, this can be uh, frustrating and uh, especially for you know more inexperienced game masters can be panic inducing uh, really rough i mean if okay players come up with a new approach that you had not considered happens frequently i would say um, or they go into a wider different direction you won't prepare for that but this new direction makes sense for not just the players but for their characters they should be free to do so um, again they need to have agency in the world um, if you just say no 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 okay uh, well if you go over there then I'm gonna blow the whistle and end the game here and uh, you know don't do that uh, you really shouldn't do that unless they're going in a direction that is obviously out of character, you know, uh, just bizarre, just obstinate, uh, like acting out towards the game master, that can also happen. But overall, I'd say as a general advice for any game master running any game, don't plan too much. Um, this might seem like bad advice, uh, especially to an inexperienced game master, you might say, what are you saying? That's insane. What do you mean, don't plan too much? I have to plan more so that I'm ready when... <laughs> okay, guess what? You're never gonna be ready. Uh, if you plan for every possible action that the players might take, you're never going to be running that game. You're just gonna be planning for it. Um, it's gonna take forever and a day. Uh, and even then they might just come up with something totally new because there are a lot of players at the table and there's just one game master they can surprise you and that's a good thing um, yeah don't plan too much I would say that just have your plot have your events that you want to happen uh, the progress of events uh, and then set some pieces across the plot that can be moved around uh, like organizations uh, non-player characters monsters whatever and all of these things have their own personalities their own agendas this way when the players go into a direction that you were not expecting you can plop something down there like okay they are going towards this thing now and uh, it makes the whole game seem far more organic some it's way more flexible and it's actually a good thing even for a new game master because it promotes uh, thinking on your feet uh, improvisation and uh, doesn't mean that you have to just make things up on the fly constantly but Let's say they go into a different direction. You had planned this elaborate investigation, uh, some cool scenes that you had in mind, but instead they're going in a whole different direction. Instead, they're going to incite media frenzy towards a rival organization and going to make a very public assault on them. Uh, that's a whole different approach. Well, it might lead 
to a more fun game because it's obviously something that the players are wanting to do and if you go along with it, allow for it, it can lead to things that are way more you know, evocative, uh, way more fun for you as well as the game master. Uh, the players having new ideas give you as the game master new ideas. It happens all the time. Um, but that's what I would give out as an advice overall. Uh, don't just, uh, you know, if they want to do something different, as long as it makes sense for their characters and fits the gaming world, um, they should be allowed to do so. Uh, but it is because it's important that they keep moving, you know, they don't just stand still because that leads to frustration and that's always bad um, in action. Well, um, I think that's about it, the main, main uh, advice I can give. But I'm sure that everyone who's watching this video and has had even a couple of games you've come across as a game master or as a player a situation where the group has gone in a wildly different direction and uh, or come up with something uh, very you know a lot of fun uh, new approach um, I'd like to hear about it either as a video response or in uh, just text um, so you know let me know what kind of things you've uh, witnessed on either side of the table. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.